Hey YouTube, welcome to my new home theater. I've been pretty busy in the past six months making major upgrades to this room and I would like to do a series of videos sharing with you some of those upgrades. However, today I have a really exciting products that I want to do an unboxing for you and that is the Kaleidoscape that I just received. We'll see you right after the intro. <laughs> So many of you probably know that I own the Zapidi 4K Pro for the past year and that is one of my favorite device in my rack at this point. Um, I have over a thousand movies on it and about almost close to 400 4K movies that I play on the Zapidi Pro. So you may want to ask why would I want to add a Kaleidoscape to my system. And there's a couple reasons why I, I am very interested in trying out the Kaleidoscape. Number one is that the, the, the Kaleidoscape that I have that I'm going to do the unboxing for you right now is actually a the original uh, Kaleidoscape Straddle S. So it is a 2RU. So it's a little bit different than the new one in which is it, it is a 1RU. And you've probably seen some of the unboxing on YouTube of the 1RU, but I don't think there's any video of doing an unboxing of the 2RU and I actually like the 2RU better than the 1RU uh, because there's more room uh, inside the box so there's actually a little bit better ventilation uh, for the equipment and it fits very nicely into my rack with the 2RU. But back to the original question. Well, Kaleidoscape has about 12,000 movie on their uh, storefront. And out of that 12,000 movie, there's about 1,200 movies that is 4K in format. And a lot of those 4K movie you can actually buy or purchase and then put it on the Zapiti. However, there's about close to 400 movies that is in 4K on the Kaleidoscape that is not available on this to buy. Uh, a really good example is the uh, is the concert that I do own on the Zapiti and on the disc itself is the Hans Zimmer um, concert that everyone know about. However, it on the disc it is in Dolby Atmos, but it is in standard def, uh, standard high definition. On the Zapiti, I can actually purchase that in the 4K HDR format and watch that as 4K HDR with Dolby Atmos. So that's one reason why I want to try out the Kaleidoscape. The other reason that I want to is that there are also certain movies uh, that is can be easily downloaded from Kaleidoscape that is not available on this for me to buy. That is not in 4K HDR. It's, it's in high definition, but some of these rare movies never made it to Blu-ray or to 4K disc. So it, it would be hard for me to, to find and track down and purchase the disc and then back it up to my Zapiti. So Kaleidoscape give me that option to be able to uh, easily find these movie on this store and to download it and watch it directly instead of having to worry about buying in uh, a, a different format from a, a from a foreign country and then worrying about compatibility. The third reason that I want to own a Kaleidoscape is to be able to rent movies. And these are not movies that you rent kind of like on Apple TV or on Voodoo's where you rent the movie and then you stream it through your device. With Kaleidoscape, when you rent a movie, it is exactly like when you buy a movie. You rent the movie and you're able to download the movie directly onto your player and play it in the original uh, file. Just like owning a disc and being able to uh, watch the movie on your disc. And uh, Kaleidoscape has a total of uh, 12,000 movies in this store and about almost 8,000 of those movies you can actually rent. 
And that is, is fantastic because some of the movies that uh, I want to watch, I may not want to buy it outright. I may want to rent it first and watch the movie. And if actually, if I do like the movie, then I will purchase the movie. And with Kaleidoscape, if you like the movie and want to buy the movie, half of the cost of your rental will go towards the purchase. So it's not that bad at all. And the other thing too is uh, Kaleidoscape, they have their uh, premium uh, movie on demand in which these are rentals that come out either on the same day and date that was released in theater or it's the uh, premium where it is released about one to two weeks uh, after it is available in theater. And that, that is great because with those movies, uh, the good example that I have is uh, recently I had to rent the premium rental on Disney Plus for my kids for Raya and the Last Dragon, which costs about $30 for a premium rental on Disney Plus. But the quality was not good because it was st still streaming from Disney Plus. However, if at that time, if I had the Kaleidoscape, I would have been able to purchase that movie directly or rent that movie directly on Kaleidoscape and able to watch it with the same cost as uh, renting it on Disney Plus, but I would be able to watch it in the original file format, which is not streaming and in my opinion, much, much better in terms of video and audio quality. All right, so without any further delays, let's do the unboxing of the Kaleidoscape Strato S. Actually, I purchased this unit as secondhand because I did not want to spend the, the full retail price, which for this Kaleidoscape Strato S uh, 6 terabyte retail price would cause right at $6,000. But since I want to try it out to make sure that I like it before I invest heavily in their ecosystem and find more players from Kaleidoscape, I, I want to be able to, to try it out and see if actually I like it first. And that's spending $6,000. So I was lucky enough to be able to get this second hand so I can try it out. All right. So the previous owner, he was very nice to pack this really well for me with some Bubble wraps. This is the uh, installation instruction on how to put the rack mount. And actually, it's really nice that he included this for me, but actually you can download this online easily from the uh, Kaleidoscape website, which I, I actually did look at this right before uh, making this video to make sure that I know what I'm doing and able to put this in my um, in my rack. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is put this on the floor and then get the player out on its own. So, this is the accessory box for the Kaleidoscape. And it's nicely packed, say Kaleidoscape, right on the, on the front, right there. And let's see what we have in this box. So, the previous owner seems to be taking really good care of his equipment. So he got all everything nicely packed and pretty much looks relatively brand new. Oh, so these are the ear racks for the mount. So I'm gonna put this on the side. What else? So you got the power cord. 
nicely included an HDMI cable, which I'll probably won't need. Oh, and this is really good quality rated HDMI cable, but I have plenty of HDMI cable to use. And this is the ethernet cable. And all of these are original from uh, Kaleidoscape. This is the rest of the plate mount. Let me see. Oh, very nice. So this is the face plate mount for the rack system. So it was very nice of the previous owner to include this for me because this costs extra. It's it it looks really nice. So nice face plate mount, which I'm gonna put it back. And underneath here we got a couple other things. Alright, this is the other ear rack mount on the other side. So let me put this on the side because most likely I'm not going to use any of those. I'll put it right back to the box because I'm going to be displaying. When you have a Kaleidoscape, personally for me, I would not want to be putting it in my, uh, my clothes rack because no one can really see that. I probably would want to display this with the rest of my other AV equipment so that it looks nicely to be seen. This is the, the uh, power brick for the power cord. Really simple. And the one thing that people complain the most about Kaleidoscape is their crappy looking remote control. And I kind of have to agree with that. It looks very much like a direct TV remote control which most people don't really care about. And it says Kaleidoscape on it instead of DirecTV. And it actually lights up pretty nicely. But most likely I won't be using that because I have the Harmony remote to control everything with it. So I'll put this on the side. And let's see what this is. This is compliance information. And to complete the installation, so information on how to complete the installation online uh, with Kaleidoscape. So actually Kaleidoscape is supposed to be installed by a certified uh, dealer, but I've been doing home theater long enough that hopefully I won't have any problem getting it all set up and ready to go. So put that box on the side because probably I'm going to put all of those equipment back into that box because I'm probably not going to use anything with but the power cord in that box and keep the rest. All right. Ooh. This Kaleidoscape is pretty heavy. Nicely wrapped. So, one thing I want to mention is that there's nothing wrong with buying secondhand AV equipment as long as you know you're getting it from someone who's reliable and that someone who took good care of their equipment. It's completely okay to save money because all of us we don't have unlimited budget where we can just buy everything brand new. And some of my equipment in the back here, they are bought secondhand. And some of them I have used for a couple of years without running into any problem at all. So it's either I've been very lucky at buying things secondhand, or I have done pretty good research to make sure where I'm getting my equipment secondhand is from a, re from a reliable person. So, let 
Let's see here. Nice. Ooh, I really like the chrome finish on this kaleidoscape and it's really heavy. I think for the uh, 2RU, the weight is about 13 pounds. The new 1RU uh, unit, I believe it's about 8 pounds. So this one is actually a little bit heavier than the newer 1RU. So in the front, it's really simple, but this really chrome finish, I have to say, it's amazing. It looks actually, I like it better than my Zabiti. Beautiful. Really, it looks really high end. Excellent. All right. So let me turn this around and I'll show you what we got. Kaleidoscape in the back actually make everything really simple so you have the uh the plug for your power adapter it's a 12 volt plug dc plug you have your video where it says video actually it does have video and audio signal out so that's the one you want to use and since i'm going to be plugging this directly into the lumagen i'm going to be using this video output because with the Lumagen, once I plug this into the Lumagen, actually, it's gonna split um, the signal for me and separate it between video and audio. So I'm gonna send the video directly to my Sony projector and the audio directly to my HTP1. And that is actually controlled by the Lumagen. So I'm gonna let it do its job. This one is the digital audio out. So you have another HDMI audio out to use if you want to, which I will not be using optical cable and coaxial app. And then you have the ethernet plug in there, which that's definitely what I'm gonna use. And this looks like a USB port, which I'm not quite sure what it is used for, but that's something I'm gonna read and look up. I didn't realize they have that. And then this you have your IR trigger out if you want to use it and this is the service port which I'm not going to mess around with it so it's a PD they want everything to be proprietary so that kind of like an Apple product really I don't want to mess around with it because if I mess around with it and something goes wrong they're going to say not our problem so that is pretty much it. This is the unboxing of the Kaleidoscape Straddle S 6 terabyte. And I have to say, I really like the look of this. This is going to look really nicely right over there. Probably I'm going to put it right underneath my Lumagen, which is my favorite product in that rack. And hopefully this Kaleidoscape will be my second favorite equipment in that rack. Or will it still be the Zapiti? Only time will tell. I will give you an update once I get everything hooked up and get a chance to test it out. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care.